Hi, and welcome to Already Indie, where you are a filmmaker. I am your host, Sarah Dowd. About four weeks ago, we introduced a short film called Sarah. The film had received several compliments on its crisp sound, so in today's episode, I'm going to show you how that was accomplished. Here, I am holding a do-it-yourself made boom pole with a shock mount. For the boom pole, we used an old painter's pole. Attached to that is a shock mount that keeps the shotgun mic suspended. The shock mount reduces the amount of vibrations from the pole. Without the shock mount, the microphone will add additional clicks and pops to the audio. Here we are using a Zoom H1 digital recorder to capture our audio. Here I am recording outdoor ambient sounds to add to the film. Hi folks, my name is Michael E. Cullen II. I'm from Cullen Park Productions. The reason that you need to record ambient sound or room tone is to cover up any kind of dead space that you might have in post-production when editing. Uh, you never know, you might have to fill in a little gap where you didn't record the audio or if there's something like a plane going by or something like that that you want to cover up. Your filmmaker tip for today is that you should get no less than one minute of that ambient sound. The reason being is you might have a pop or a hiss or something in that sound and if you only have like 15 seconds of that and keep repeating that over and over again, it'll sound repetitive and your audience will notice that when they're watching the film. So make sure you get no less than one minute of ambient sound or room tone. And that's your filmmaker tip for today. Here I am recording footsteps that is one of the wild sounds that I'll be adding later to the film. All of the car door and trunk sounds in the film were wild sounds. Here I am shutting the trunk while someone else operates the boom pole. Nothing to laugh at. Apologize! No one to cry. Just another dirty gray day. Who the hell, you fucking bitch? Sound is very important and often overlooked in low budget filmmaking. However, bad sound can hurt your overall final product and disengage your audience from even watching the rest of your film. Be sure to watch the next episode, where we show you with makeup how we cut off our actress's face and make a prosthetic one. I hope you liked today's episode. If you're new to this channel, please show us some love and hit the subscribe button. And share us on Facebook for all your friends to like us too. If you missed the first episode, you can click here. If you want to know what we're talking about and watch the short film, click here. If you missed last week's episode, you can click here. Bye! Why is still here? Click something! Come on! Do you want me to go and up? Here I am holding a boom pole. No, because you're not holding <laughs> <laughs> What does that sound like? Um, no. Okay. About four weeks ago, we introduced... We introduced... The film had received several compliments on its crisps... Crisps? Darn it! <laughs> Go ahead and do the whole intro part again. Okay. <laughs> Here I am holding a shotgun. Be sure to watch. And then I do this thing. If you want to. Don't take it from here. Thanks for watching. That's really cheesy.